season. How you doing? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is about the best place that you could sit and have a coffee. I mean, anywhere. All right, uh, you know, I won't give it a 10, but I'll give it a nine. It's pretty good. If I was sitting on a pier in like Tahiti or something, and it was crystal clear blue waters, that might be a little better, but you know what? This is still pretty good. The water is warm. The water is nice. Everything is good. I'm here alone today because the wife is working. <laughs> She's working in the room. And I don't know, but I think she's going to walk over to a coffee shop, which I'll meet her at after the show. Uh, but, you know, it's really laid back here, and I like that. If you want to know me, this is me. On the beach, toes in the sand, having a coffee, having a beer, having a meal, whatever it might be. Jumping in the ocean every once in a while. That's me. This is me right here. This is about as close as you can get to my personality. And for living in Bangkok, you might not know it, but I grew up around the, the ocean, so that's why I really like it. Anyway, where are we at here? All right. Yeah. It's like the glare is, I, you know, I need my shades and I, I got some, some shades back at the house, but they're not very good. I need to get some prescription shades made and that's like 500 bucks <laughs> for a good pair of Ray-Bans. Uh, but anyway, it's a little hard to see right now. But I'm going to walk over. I'm having a coffee right now. It's quite good. It's a something I would usually not drink. And it is a macadamia latte. It's quite good. And like I said, you just can't beat this place for the vibe. It's fantastic. I mean, you know. Anyway, let me show you a little something here. This is, this is the beach, basically. And then this is the rest of the, the beach. It's not a big beach, but that's okay. I don't mind. There's not many people. You can see, look how many, there's two people here. There's, there's like seven, eight people out in the water. Uh, there's another two. And there's a couple down here. But other than that, I mean, there's, it's not like it's flooded with tourists like, uh, you know, Korean tour groups or Chinese tour groups or whatever. This is not that kind of a destination. And it's not really that far from uh, where we're staying, which I was a little surprised at the price of the... Uh, the price of the song towel, but you know, whatever it is, what it is, it's an island, and you know, it's just how things are. I was gonna walk, and I just went, oh, I don't feel like walking. It's too, the sun is hot, it's about 88 degrees right now, 75% humidity, feels like 95, and the dollar is at 35, 36.25 right now. And the air quality is 55. I memorized all that. Somehow. I remembered it. Probably because I looked like two minutes ago. And we have a lot of people doing selfies and little shows and stuff like that. 
Uh, last night we went out. We went out to a little restaurant. Had a pitcher of beer. Uh, it was quite good. Some seafood. Some sumtham. Sumtham. Uh, some squid. Some shrimp. It was very nice. And it was, uh, you know, it was a thousand baht. So 500 baht each, and we're right on the beach. We have a meal, we have beer. And a fire show. And I wasn't complaining. For 500 baht, why complain about it? You know, I mean, that's like 15 bucks. So for like three hours. Oh, and we also had a uh, chocolate, what do you call them? Well, my wife had it. A chocolate... Uh, crepe which was very good so I'm gonna finish this real quick here I can't see right now so I'm gonna when I go over to this restaurant to get some food I'll look at the messages take a look and oh the guy left the guy left me the Song Tao left, he was waiting. I don't know why he left, but he's gone. Anyway, nice little stretch of beach here. I'm gonna bring this lady back her coffee cup. Got some kayaks, you're all set here. And this is the Black Pearl, Black Pearl Cafe. There you go. All right, so let me see here. Uh, cup in my cup. All right, I can see here. So let me read these here. Uh, Lotto, okay, bees in. What a beautiful place to wake up. Morning, Scott and all. Yes, it is. I bought Ray-Ban sunglasses last summer, 400 bucks. Yeah, that's what I mean. Prescription lenses for 19. Where are all the Chinese tourists? There's none here. No Chinese tourists here. And no Korean tourists either. There's the, really, there's no big tour groups here. It's very nice here. I just took a little song Tao. I went by myself because there was nobody. People don't get up that early here, I guess. I don't know in mass at least. And so I took the song Tao, it was 200 baht. And now I'm gonna get something to eat. You know why? Cause I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I don't know if this place is open or I gotta go up here. It looks like I gotta go up into the, into the restaurant up here, but this is a restaurant too. You can see this is the Top Tim Resort. It's very nice. You know, could I say it's nicer than the place that that I'm staying? Um, maybe a little bit, but not much. I mean, the place I'm staying at is right on the beach, pretty much. About the same distance, so. I think it's cheaper than this place too, so I can't complain. Anyway, I want to eat. I'm hungry. If I can get some... Well, this isn't really a restaurant. I don't know. Oh, they have a buffet over here. I don't want to eat the buffet. Let's see what they have. Because I just want, like, an omelet or something. No, I don't want the buffet. Yeah, if you don't want buffet, you have to sit down there. Okay. And order in the menu. Okay, thank you. So we'll go down. That's fine. 
I'm all alone. <laughs> Peaceful. Uh, yes, Bob, I'm awake. I'm streaming. Um, so yesterday, after the stream, later in the day, we rented a motorbike. And Bo was driving. And the reason she's driving is because... I think she still has a she still has a license and she's Thai, and if anything happens, uh, you know she can get the insurance and all that. And with me, I just I just don't want to risk crashing a bike. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to be in the heat. That's the thing. I'd rather like. Pretty quiet here, eh? Ah, uh, look at this. It's pretty nice. What am I gonna have to do to get served here? I, I know it's gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to call someone. Blow a step. Mm -hmm. The staff is coming, apparently. Whew. I can get a menu. Come in, you. Looks at me, he goes, <laughs> maybe you thought I wanted a coffee or something. No, I don't stay here. That's why I'm not eating up there. Pat, Thea, Bob, okay, I got your message, but I'm streaming. So it's hard for me to respond. Your VIP tickets? What, what is this? I'm on the way to Bangkok Motor Show. Oh, I'm in Cosumet right now. As you can see. How long are you going to be there? I'll be back on Wednesday. Drinks, drinking water, Coke, drinking water, <clears throat> drinking water, have some drinking water, please. And I admit, oh, really? Okay. Well, have fun. All right, omelet. What, do I just want an omelet? Yeah, I just want an omelet. Can I have it with, can I have my omelet with shrimp? I really don't want shrimp, do I? Uh, let cow. You know, the one thing about people on the island here, everybody's friendly. Everybody's waving. You know, they're all friendly. Now, look, look at this way. You see if you can see in the mirror straight ahead. You can see me in the mirror waving. So, obviously, I'm just going to have an omelet quick omelet, some water, and then I'm gonna walk down 
past the, the rocks at the beach. I think there's a walkway, so I'm gonna go past that walkway. And uh, if need be, I'll walk back to uh, Hatsukeo. Yeah, have fun, Bob, have fun. I'm kinda having fun here. It, this is not the kind of place where you're like, woohoo, what a great time I'm having. It's very chill, man. I mean, it's a good place to come. You know, I mean, if I really wanted to, uh, I could come here for a couple of weeks and just like disappear in some little bungalow somewhere and not really see anybody. That's kind of what I would like to do. <laughs> I have to tell that to the wife. If the wife comes to me, then, you know, we're, there's two people staying here for the price of one. It's good. Um, you know, we can stay in a nice place, pretty nice place. And in all the places here that I've seen, they're all like, I mean, I, we stayed at the Blue Moon before, and, uh, oh, oh, cool. Well, say hello to her for me. Hello, Miss Soda. Miss you guys. Um, what was I going to say? Not very many people today on a Monday. I don't usually stream on a Monday. I don't think I'm going to stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's a full day for me. Let me see here. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I never do that. I don't know how people do that. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people here today in the stream. Oh, yeah. This is the thing. They want ex people want excitement. You know, last night there was the fire show. I could have I could have streamed that, I guess, but I didn't. I, I filmed it, kind of. And the wife filmed it as well. She was all excited. Oh, look at the fire. Ooh. There's guys, you know... I respect them for what they have to go through to be able to do that stuff. It's pretty wild. But, man, they stink like kerosene. They're all covered up with, with kerosene. If they were to, or whatever the hell it is that they're wearing, I don't know, it smells like kerosene. But, I mean, if they were to catch fire, there was a couple of times they, they threw the stick up in the air and the flame shot about 30 feet. And I'm like, I'm glad I'm not sitting over by them. You know. The corn on plow do I come? On plow do I? I need some water. I gotta stay hydrated here. Hopefully, the next little journey I do will be to some other island that I don't know. All the islands are. To me, all the islands are pretty much the same. I, I hate to sound like that, but some of them are very beautiful. Some of them are, you know, they're all right. I wonder if he's going to give me a glass. He gave me a bottle. Anyway, lots and lots of people, especially last night. Man, we were out sitting at this ploy seafood or whatever it was. Ploy tale, something like that. We're sitting there, and they're doing the fire show. But before that, I mean, there are literally hundreds of people sitting there. And I looked around. Really, there was about 99% Asians and 1% foreigner. And the foreigners were walking by. They might stop and get a little crepe or something like that, but that was about it. I guess I'm drinking out of the bottle. I need to ask for a glass. It's polite in a restaurant. You don't drink out of a bottle. No staff. 
Is the lady still? Oh, she's gone. Anyway. Big fun here on the island. Let's take a look over here. You guys don't want to look at me. I know that already. This is a much better view. Anyway, you know, we took the motor <laughs> we took the motorcycle out yesterday. And my wife used to drive her motorcycle around uh, Suratani near her house. She used to ride it all the time. So I was like, oh, okay, great. You know, we're going to get a motorcycle. She's driving. Good. Okay, fine. I don't have to drive. All right. Fine. Now we get on the bike, and it's an automatic. And she was really scared. I'm like, what are you scared for? I mean, we went 20 miles an hour, pretty much. We went about 20 miles an hour the whole time. And that was it. That was, that was what we did. There was a couple of times where she almost stopped. And she was like, okay, let me stop on the side. One time we stopped on the side of the road. <laughs> we, st we stopped on the side of the road. She's like, I have to get the, the thing right with my phone. Because she had her phone in the little holder. So she puts her phone in the holder. She tightens it all down. We get to this place. Uh, and we get to this place. And I'm like, okay, let's walk down. There's a little cafe right down the, the road here. We just have to walk. Because, you know, it's like a little resort. And they had a cafe. So I said, let's walk down the cafe to where the cafe is. We pull over on the side of the road. I get off. And she's got the thing around her neck that locks the bike to where no one can turn the key or anything like that. I don't know what she did, but she's standing there. And I go, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just going to lock this up. Next thing I know, it's like, okay, let's go. I'm like, what do you mean let's go? We're going down the way to the cafe. No, we have to go. And I said, why do we have to go? Because I can't figure out how to get the, the key unlocked. And so we're sitting there, and she's trying to get the key unlocked on the, on the bike. And it wasn't her, really her fault. Nobody explained it to her or anything like that. And I thought she knew, but she didn't know. I guess bikes are a little different now than the ones she's been driving. And so we finally got the bike started. We ended up, we, we like just stopped there, and then we just got right. She parked it. He's shaking his head. He's actually shaking his head. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe this guy wants, he wants a glass and ice. That's all I'm asking for. I don't think it's, it's asking for that much. Charge me the two baht, three baht, whatever it is for the ice. This guy's kind of, uh, I don't want to say he's turning me off from this place because I know he's not you know, the only person, and I know it's an island, and I know, you know, things operate differently, but, like, I just want a glass, that's all. He's, he's getting it for me. I, I, I know I'm, I'm really needy. <laughs> Thank you. Top corner. Sorry, if I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to, like, wreck his groove, you know, s sitting behind the counter there. Unbelievable. So they're, they're starting to, like, open up here and get everything going. I, I, you know... And I'm waiting for my omelet right now, in case you want to know. My wife and I went yesterday. Before we got the bike, we went out for lunch. She goes, oh, there's this place. Don't you remember the last place? It was so good. I said, I don't really remember. She goes, oh, the place over with the mangoes. And I said, okay. We go over to this place. It's just as we turn to go to the Blue Moon Cafe. 
there's a guy and then next to it his mother owns the there's a restaurant next door that opens up later and he's got a little stall that sells like pad thai pad siu pad ki mao whatever so i'm like okay give me a pad siu and she gets a latna which is you know the noodles with gravy she says to me this is not really that good and she's a little picky but i was eating my that's you and I go the chicken is like really tough <laughs> or I think it was pork I think it was pork the pork was tough I was like I gotta chew on the pork and that is not how Thai food is supposed to be honestly I'd say 98% of the time I go to a Thai restaurant the food is immaculate the food is really really good even at a little hole in the wall, you're getting really good food. That's the thing about Thai food. If you want good Thai food, it's not hard to find it. You know, you just ask. Hey, do me a favor, all right, guys? Leave me a thumbs up, please. Um, I'd appreciate it. Top. Top corner. say anything. There's my omelet. Okay. I'm not saying anything, Gabe. I don't want to complain. I don't want to be the guy. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. I'm going to use plenty of sauce. Um, no, you know what? I mean, it, it's, it's definitely not. It looks, honestly, I, I believe, I haven't tasted it yet, but I believe it will taste pretty good. Let's see. Good. It's okay. My wife cooks a better omelet, to be honest. I cook a better omelet. But it's not really. And this is the disappointing thing about the island. All the food we have has been even last night, I mean, some thumb was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, you know, the, the the squid comes from a, a stall, and it was pretty good. It was good. I had the uh, guy pet pit mamua, which is cashew chicken, uh, and it was it was a small serving like this. They don't charge an arm and a leg. It was like 120 baht, which, you know, for an island is pretty good. It was okay. And then I had some crab, uh, no, shrimp cakes. And those were pretty good. So though, probably the shrimp cakes were the best thing I've had on the island. And everything else has been, you know, my wife said it best. She just goes, I said, did, did you like the show? Yeah, it was okay. Did you have, did you like the food? It was okay. That about sums it up. So if there's one thing I would say about this island, the, the island mentality is definitely here. You know, the people here, although at the, the, the place where we're staying, About five minutes after I walked in, they have this little shelf. It's like a shelf you can put your keys, you can put your, you know, your glasses, whatever you want. So I start putting stuff up there, and I just 
really lightly pushed away from it. And when I pushed away from it, it came out of the wall. And my wife's like, oh, oh my God, you broke it. I said, just hey, 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 relax. I go out to him. In the meantime, we, we don't have a plug. I go to 7-Eleven, I buy a, a, a power bank, power strip. And the power strip had three prongs. So we couldn't plug it into the wall again. So I'm like, I bought the wrong one. I thought I saw only two. So they give us a power strip with the proper uh, plug. And I, I tell the lady, I broke your, your little ledge. Oh, no problem. Put it down over there. She said, you want me to fix it? I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. She goes, eh, just put it over here. I went, all right. So that was it. There was no, oh, you have to pay for it. Or I told my wife, I said, I think you're overreacting. And you know, I bet you if I stayed here a long time, I would find a lot of things that you have to get adjusted to. You either just deal with it or you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be pulling your hair out all the time. Which is definitely not what I wanna do. I wanna just be chilled, man. Chill, chill. Or as some people say, chillax, baby, chillax. I don't know who made that word up. I'm almost done with this. It's not taking very long. It's the rice, the rice that I shouldn't be eating is taking up the time. You know, this trip has made me realize something. There used to be a time when I went to cafes when I didn't eat the sweets or I didn't eat rice or things like that. I mean, you know, not too long ago. So when I go back, I gotta go back in the gym and get back up my diet and just do what I wanna do, which is stay away from all this stuff. Omelet is fine, eggs are fine, but rice is not. I don't need it. And the other thing is that some places, what was that place they charged? They charged a 10% service charge on your bill plus 7% VAT. So, you go in, you're gonna be paying extra, you know. That's, it, that's what I mean, there's a lot of little things that can make things difficult or, you know, make things more expensive or whatever. And, you know, my friend that lives in Koh Chang, he comes to Bangkok every once in a while and he just, he's got a truck. He loads up, he buys all kinds of groceries. I mean, like, yeah, he spend like you know, 50,000 baht and bring all his eggs and all his food and you know everything else he'll bring it to he's got a resort but 
He'll bring it to his resort, and that's his food. He doesn't have to have it shipped in. He does it himself. So, you know, for the price of a drive to Bangkok and, and back, he gets all these things. All right, let's get out of here. Disappointing. Now look. This is the guy behind the bar. You can just see his head to the left. You now we have some people coming in that want to eat. They're like, uh, is anybody going to help us? Like, where's the people? Looking around right there. Those guys right there. There's the guy. He's, he's busy. He's really busy right now. <laughs> this guy is so, he's just sitting there, man. He's like, eh, what, I gotta get up and help you? Kun cop. Kun cop. Go check me in there. Thing is, you got to keep a sense of humor about it. Hey, Cyrus. Yeah, I, you know. Listen, the phone is something that. Hang on a second. I think this is just his way, you know? I don't think he means to do anything. I don't think anything's malicious. I just think he's like, maybe he grew up on the island, you know, who knows? Um, the phone thing is something that really irks me because I understand, like, you know, I do understand my wife, she has to check with people at work, she has to speak with people at work. I understand that. Okay, that's fine. But there's a point where you're like, you're having a conversation with somebody sitting at a table. And I can tell you that all, almost all of my friends, like close friends, when we're sitting at a table, maybe we look at a message or something pops up or something. But other than that, that's it. We're not like attached to the phone. And I mean, I, I, I use my phone all the time. Thank you. You know, I'm just gonna give them a tip. Anyway. Be nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like that. The phone is, a, you know, attached to your hand, and it's like everywhere you go, you're like looking at the phone. I don't like that. And I know that this is a different era, and I'm getting old, and all these other things, but I don't like it. If I'm talking to you, let's have a conversation. Why do we have to look at our phones when we're having a conversation? We don't. That's the thing. Why do we have to work and have our nose in our phone when you have people that you need to help? Why? I don't get it. All right, let me go. Let's, let me get out of here. The omelet was okay. It was decent. You no, know, I mean, really. The omelet was decent. The portion size was small. It was 125 baht. That egg 
that egg might have cost them seven baht on the island. It cost, you can get them for four baht at the market in Bangkok, all right? It cost somebody to make it. The rice was probably five baht. They, they're making 10 times what it costs. And you know, I don't have a problem with that. But like, the portion size could have been a little bigger. That's all. Anyway, let's get out of here. I feel like I don't even want to bring my water because it's gonna, oh God. All right, let's walk. Uh, you know, I hate to say it, but, oh. My ankle is not healed. Look at this. Good luck. I wonder how many people crash on this island every year. Now they do have we do have the little black pearl coffee shop here, but I'm I'm not gonna go back. I was we were already sitting there, had my coffee. I'm good. Dad's on the bike going, he's just, <laughs> he's just like us yesterday. Oh, let me go faster. No, oh, no, no, slower. Faster, no, slower. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, God. This is Cosmet right here. This is it. Reminds me, you know, kind of of Riley. I mean, I like Riley, but like, what are you gonna do there most of the time? Drink, sit there and enjoy the beach. I I don't know, you know. It's it's a there's a fine line between a nice beach and a beach that you can have fun with and that, you know, you can do some things. It's not easy to find a place like that, you know? This place is all right for a couple of days. I think it's very nice for, you know, three, four days, which is what, what we're staying. But if I was gonna stay for longer, I don't think I would. Here I am walking all alone on the sh on the street. This is this is this is me right here, me sitting at the beach enjoying a, a latte. Me walking on the road by myself to go wherever because there's no there's no way to get around here unless the truck pulls up. You gotta wait, and I don't feel like waiting. So let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? You hear the cicadas? Cicadas? There's a little cafe up here. Oh, I'm knackered. I gotta stop here and get something to drink. <laughs> it's the Sabaydi Cafe. Espresso, 60 or 70 baht. Shakes, ooh. Vanilla shake, ooh. So 
sounds really good. And I'm sure it is, but we're gonna pass. All right, which way am I supposed to go? Straight? No, this way. Spirit House. Shit, I don't remember which way to go. Alpi, Alprow. You speak Thai so well. They freak out when I say I've been here for almost 30 years. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> You can see, there is like no shade. None at all. You wanna walk, do so at your own peril. Oh, we can walk this way. It is a nice walk. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that. You hear that? Sometimes I wonder just how many little trips I've taken, how many big trips I've taken. So I'm, honestly, sometimes I wonder, wow, how many did I take this year? And sometimes it's like I took eight little trips and two big trips, you know? I, I didn't really even, I wasn't even thinking of coming here until my wife goes, you want to go to Costa Met? I was like, eh. And then she was like, eh, I don't know if I want to go, which she always does. She always backtracks. I got this to do. I got that to do. I said, do you want to go? Yes. We get to the place and there are no more minibuses or buses going to Cosmet because we got there at like four o'clock. So we went to Rayong, like I said yesterday. We went to Rayong and from Rayong, uh, Went to Costa Met. Uh, I gotta walk up this hill. Yeah. Hoo, hoo. All right, so which way am I supposed to go here? I think I'm supposed to go to Alprow. Smash that like button. God, I hate saying that. Please, if you're watching, please remember to do that. I mean, if you like the video. You know, maybe I go right, I don't know. Do I go right or do I go left? That is the question. I could have sworn we turned left to come here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go right here. Because, you see this? Look right here. Al Prow. Wang Duen. Al Wang Duen. Al Pakarang. I see. I like this right here. They have these maps all over the place. It's really nice. See that? 
I'm right here. And I'm going to over here. Anyway. Whew. I'll tell you what, you just want to go for a walk and get some exercise. This place is uh, really good for it. Viewpoint, this tells you everything. Where you need to go, everything. And I was gonna come here today. I may still go here, I don't know. To the southernmost tip of the island. Whew. Yeah, you can get some steps in, you can get some walking in, put in the kilometers. All right, I mean, you were already back to civilization, so. That's really good. They do seem to have a bit of a garbage problem here. You know, really, I mean, you see it here. There's some, look at here. There's a bottle right there. Over here. They have a bit of a garbage problem here from what I see, and you can see it up ahead. I don't know how they get the garbage out, because there has to be an insane amount of garbage that they generate. What do they do with it? Where does it go? Does it go to Bangkok? And hey, look at this. From what I know and what I've seen, most beautiful places. They're very beautiful in a few places. And some of the places that they just kind of keep them away from the tourist. They keep the tourist away from those places. And those are like the really filthy places. They got a lot of filth and dirt, garbage. Hey, look at this. Bit of garbage back there. the way it goes. This is the last resort up to the left. Hey there, Andy. What's happening? How you doing? Whew. The last resort, and it kind of looks like the last resort <laughs> to me, honestly. There are people staying here, though. Oh, you're home. Wow. Oh, good. I'm sure it's good to be home. After a long journey, it's always good to be home. You got your own bed, your own toilet. Everything is where it should be. Where it shouldn't be. Oh. oh, oh, Jesus! When I talk about garbage, that was freaking horrible. Oh my God! Whew. I see this. Look at this. This, this is what I mean. And you don't really, you know, when you're just down at a beach, you don't notice it. You come around, you go, ah, oh, there's a little bit of garbage. But when you look. It's, it's pretty much everywhere. Now, you know, I've been to Cement now, I think this is the fourth time. And I'm starting to see things, look at this. You know, everybody wants to be down by the beach. So the beaches tend to be a bit clean. That mean they are pretty clean. But when you come into the middle of the island, 
Uh, it needs a little work. Maybe eventually they'll clean it up. Who knows? Uh, nice downhill stretch. Welcome to the sea breeze. It's the weed shop. What do you come? <laughs> 700 baht for this place that guy's happy he's puffing away <laughs> he's like oh yeah man happy happy smoke buds even on the island there's buds I'm sure they were. I've seen that guy around on the island. Now there's going to be a hill that goes up. There's going to be little statues. That'd be quite nice. Bar, restaurant, bungalow, motorbike. Which, if I really wanted, I could jump on a motorbike and go around the island, but I'm not that adventurous at the moment. It's a little too hot. Ah, oh, fuck. Ugh. Fire show. The name of this place is, is what? Is the Gecko Bar. Crazy. I need to come down here at night. I told Bo, we need to go to a bar. Slam down a couple of drinks. She said, where do you want to go? By the time, you know, we get a, a four-pack of beer from 7-Eleven. By the time we're done drinking the beer, and like last night we had a pitcher of beer. Then it's like, uh, we don't need to go out. Want something to eat? Anybody? Oh, I think down here and then up. I think that's how it goes. Alpi Hut, Aircon, Aircom Room, 800 baht. come down here on the beach wow what is this right here this is kind of cool i like this people just chill and drink beer or whiskey i can't get past those rocks i don't think but maybe i can but i don't want to I, i'll just stick to my path all righty
humidity is, is quite high here. It's never the heat, really. It's the humidity that kills you here. Just a house here. This guy's house. Oh, he's selling some jewelry or something. Oh, he's got a little bar. See? Flow Beach Cafe. The Flow Beach Cafe smoothies, coffee and tea, healthy bar. I know where I want to go though. I know where I want to end up. And it's Jump at Beach. That's the name of the cafe. It's not far from here. Sorry. Busy, huh? Coffee, Tokes Little, Tokes Little Bar. All right, this is the hill I was talking about. You go up, then there's gonna be a statue of, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, but there's a little statue. You know, I was a little surprised about the motorbikes because what they do is they charge you, or at least this place that we went, they charge you 100 baht an hour or 400 baht a day. So you pay for how many hours you want or you pay for the day. We just got it for two hours. And we were back in an hour and a half. Building, building. Hello. Swati cop. <laughs> I'm good. America. America. Okay. This place is closed. We stopped here before. I got to get out of the way. Oh. Nagabar. And this is the big uh, the statue I was talking about. There you go. And in here, happy hour. Naga. Kayaks.
Now, I could go left, but I could go straight. So, straight, left, that is the question. What do I do? go this way why not all right here's the other the mermaid I forget the significance significance of these but this statue and the statue up above there is some significance I forget what it is but it's very uh, important to this area See, I think I can get through here. Whew, yes, siree. I'll just let these people lead the way. Need some shoes? Some shorts? Not my style. slow for me. Yeah, this is I'm right down the street from where where we're staying. Meet me at Sea Sky Cafe and Eatery. So I get something to drink here. Here's the mass of Koreans again. Well, I want to go to where I want to go, which is uh, the jump at sea. Look at this guy with the cups on the back of his, on his back. Holy moly. Somebody gave him some major cupping. Marts. There's mini marts everywhere. Any any chance they can to sell anything, that's what they'll do. All right, I think you go through here. Yes. A little more quiet. We're back to Hatsakale, Sakale Beach. Ooh, Thailand skimboard competition. That sounds fun. Now that sounds fun to me. Skimboarding. I used to boogie board. And I did surf a little bit, but I boogie boarded more. And I was getting quite good at it because we used to go every morning at Huntington Beach. We go every morning boogie boarding. And I mean from 4 o'clock in the morning to about... Eight o'clock. And then I'd hurry up and go to work from nine to five or from eight thirty to four thirty. And then I'd go home and maybe I'd go back again. I don't know. It depends. It would depend on the day. Oh. Don't remind me. Shower fifty bot toilet is free. I love that. Free toilets. You see the Chinese or Koreans. And all I'm gonna say is, you know, I was at that other beach 
It was so peaceful, so quiet, so nice. It was so lovely. Then I come here and listen to this. We all have our own ways of doing things, I guess. Let me get through here. Oh, oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. I think this is Chinese. Let's see if I can get them to wave. <laughs> get somebody to wave over here. Wow. 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 I can only stand it so long. All right, where am I going? Oof. They're everywhere. How do I get out of here? Oh, I'm trapped. <sighs> trapped with 10,000 Chinese. Okay, a little better here. But look down here. Remember the beach I just showed you? No people? Well, that's not like this. This is much different. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. It's like just massive people. The mermaid. I can't even read it. Ugh. Let's walk over here. We're back to where I know. Guyana Sakale. All right, let's go this way. Yes, I remember. We are back. And you see, now this is, there's Europeans. Well, some Europeans. <laughs> you see this group trips? Six, six islands, five islands. We were gonna come here last night. We were gonna have some food. Sit right here. And we we're gonna go right over here to the uh, to the bar, but we decided not to. Swadika. <laughs> so here we are at Buddy's again. And there is a place I want to go to. And it's right up here.
you know, I had this, I have the gimbal in my hand and I have some things in my pocket. And, you know, obviously I have a water. And <laughs> I don't know why. My wife has a bag. I didn't bring a, a small bag like I usually do. And I was like, oh, well, if I need a bag, I can use hers. She's pushing me to get these bags right up here. And they all have owls on them. And I really don't want a bag with an owl on it. <laughs> and then she was like, she actually asked me, what about this one? Do you want this one? I was like, no. And even this one, it's not my style, you know? I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> All right, let me see. Well, there's nobody in here. She's not in here. No, she's not in here. Got some good sweets in here. Sweaty cop. What do I want, guys? I actually would like to have something cold. Strawberry shake, lemonade. <laughs> Ugh. No, thank you. I think I want something more of my speed right now since look at me I am drenched in sweat I think I'll get myself you know I'm gonna go with something different something I never drink hello oh. wait for it Paul oh, kiwi apple mint Smoothie. Smoothie. Cup. Uh, small or large, sir? A large cup. Large one? Anything else? No. Just one water? Okay. Give me a couple minutes more. Okay. Give me a couple minutes more. Large one? 129. Okay. And for you, please, 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 which I never drink that stuff, but why not? Try something new. Think outside the box. Okay, a couple more. Where am I going to sit now? Jump at sea. That's where we are. find some really thrilling exciting stuff you know snakes monitor lizards chicks dropping their panties this is a, a laid-back establishment laid-back place
anyway, I want to see how my, my drink is. I like kiwi. <laughs> Apple. Mint. Depends. So maybe I'll like this, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. This place is the Jump at Sea. Comes highly recommended. And it's with walking from it's within walking distance of uh, the main drag right down here. It's two minutes away, and it's about five minutes away from where we're staying. So that's the tour of Cosamet. Maybe I can put up the fire show, or God forbid the time on the motorcycle with Bo. What I will say about the motorcycle ride is that she was very safe, very cautious, and we made it back alive. So I'm very grateful to her for that. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway, this is the view. Not much of a view, really, but there you go. We can look at it this way. Here you go, Dowler. That one's for you. Nice Russian lady. Said hello to you. I'm joking, of course. Jump at Sea Coffee Cafe. You've seen one cafe, you've seen them all. Pretty much. There's a Russian Barbie. There's the Russian version of Barbie, yes. A little bit older than Barbie, but I mean, you know, she's probably around 50, 55. Sometimes I don't know anymore. You know, once, once women start getting about 50 or so, I mean, my wife is 47, and I don't think she looks 47. You know, she dresses a certain way. I go, eh, she looks late 30s, early 40s. And now, you know, this is something that's really, uh, if I let it, it would really grate on my nerves. But it just shows that I'm not a young man anymore, is that men and women calling me papa hey papa some guy was like i'm sitting there he's like papa papa you 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 want you want pillow you want pillow let me give you a pillow you have one more pillow because you need to be comfortable oh, yeah. and i had a pillow under me and i was fine he's like papa papa here's your pillow give me let me give you one more pillow I'm just like, oh my God. And then women, that happens all the time. They call me papa. You papa. And they only call people papa who are old. They don't call people papa who are 30 years old. So, you know, that's the way it goes. Anyway, let me see if I can hit 25 with a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'm, not sh I'm not really shooting high today. I can tell you that right now. I got to go back and see Ploy. waiting for my drink now. They have text over here in English, Chinese, and Russian. 
right there on that sign. It says, do not park motorcycle. Then it's in Thai, then it's in Chinese, then it's in Russian. And yes, there are a fair number of Russians on Koh Samet, but there are even more Koreans and Chinese. And the Koreans are, they're a little loud or whatever, but you know, they're just having a good time. And the Chinese, they don't bother me, you know? Yes. But they're still Chinese. <laughs> you know, they're, they're very different. Just like me. Oh, she's serving up some nice waffles over there. Oh, that's good. Good food. When they call me darling, I suggest daddy instead. Give it to me, Poppy. Give it to me, Big Daddy. If my wife ever said that to me, I'd be like, oh my God. What has life come down to? Give it to me, Poppy. Harder, faster, Big Daddy. These are the things that people don't talk about when you get older. And, you know, I believe it was Jack Nicholson who said, never trust a fart when you get older. Just don't do it. You don't need to. Very simple. Remember that, and you guys will do fine. And, you know, it, I'm going to say it again. I've said it a million times already, but if you're 60, 70 years old, don't think that the little 25, 30-year-old that's with you is with you because she thinks, oh, my God, you're the most fantastic stud and you're such a sexy man. You know, even when I was younger, my wife didn't really say to me, oh, you're so sexy. But every once in a while, she might say something, you know. But now, she goes, look at us. <laughs> she goes, look at you, look at me. We're not young anymore, and that's all she has to say. Okay. And the thing is, is I keep getting older, and she's getting older, but she's still younger than me. You can't change that. It's taking forever to make my drink, huh? Forever, it's like five minutes. Lots of people with I love cement on their shirt. I don't know, I think I want to find another island. I, I want to find a place that I can recommend to the wife and children want to go. Because, you know, we've been here a couple of times now. And it's nice, but... On to greener pastures. They look like they have some good food here, but I'm not eating it. I'm not eating those sweets anymore. I, I've decided now, that's it. I'm cutting myself off. I'll have this drink and that'll be it. No more sweets. I'm going back to where I was two months ago, three months ago. I'm eating nothing but healthy food. Everybody has to come through here. To get to the beach. Oh, thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. This looks pretty good, eh? Check this out. Looks pretty good. Now let's taste it. The ultimate test.
Really good. Yeah. Very, very good. Mm. All righty. Mm. It's refreshing. All right. I'll leave you with this. Ugh. Please. Maybe when I was young, I was not like, but now I'm old. I'm an older man. Don't feed me that, you handsome man. Oh, t -Rock. I don't want to hear it. Doesn't fly with me. Anyway, look at this over here. Let me show you this. Puts out the good scent. And you know, I don't usually drink these things, but this is really good. Oh yeah. Carbs drive cravings for carbs. For me, it's an addiction. That's why I'm better off with as little carbs as possible. Yes, I know. And I have realized that in the past uh, couple of weeks, it's, it's much easier to grab for the carbs when you're eating them all the time, especially junk like this. I mean, to me, I, I know this is junk. All sugar, all carbs. It does taste good, but you know, a steak tastes good. You know, a pork chop tastes good. Um, there's a lot of things that taste good. It doesn't have to be this kind of stuff. And you know, what I find is that I come to a coffee shop and it's too easy sometimes. You're looking at these sweets and you're going, oh my God. And then you're, I'm like, I'm here. I might as well have one because I need to test this place out. But the bottom line is, no, I don't really. So things are gonna be changing real fast. And uh, I know, you know, before we came here, my wife was like, okay, I gotta stick to my diet now. And I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. The next thing I know, you know, I'm like, what are you doing? What are you eating this for? What are you eating that for? Oh, 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 just a little. I'm like, uh-huh, okay, a little. Bacon tastes good, it's a bit salty. I like sausages. I like bacon, I like all kinds of meat. The thing with meats is, you know, for me, I like a different texture. So that's why if you're gonna have some carbs, you gotta have the really, really good carbs and you don't have many of them. And oh God, vegetables are good too, some vegetables. Depends on if you're on a carnivore or keto or whatever. I like avocados, brain freeze. Oh God. Anyway. Enough about that. Back to the gym. I'll be in the gym on Thursday. As will my diet be back on track. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Remember to click the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Remember to join the channel. Remember to join the patreon and then buy me a coffee and the super chats and super thanks and all this other junk that i don't i really don't even want to say it anymore i've done over over like 1100 videos and streams and i know it's a little presumptuous of me but i just really feel like saying these things i shouldn't have to say them all that often people now on youtube are a little more in the know than when i first started and they know already oh smash the like button doesn't cost you anything, you know? Everything else that costs, I understand. You don't want to pay, I understand, okay? It's nice, but, you know, I, I do understand, so. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm gonna drink my drink.
And until next time, I am Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. No, I'm not an American in Bangkok. I'm an American in Koh Samet. I'll be in Bangkok on Thursday morning, well, Wednesday night. And uh, probably will stream again on like Friday. I don't know. All right. So that's all I have. Anyway, until next time. Choke me, Leo. Choke on my. That's good luck. And see you later. The calendar behind you is a day behind. I don't even see a calendar behind you. Twenty-fourth. Is it today the twenty-fourth? Today is the twenty-fourth. Today is the twenty-fourth. Dalo. I'll be streaming again on the I think twenty-eighth. Okay. Yes, the desserts are so damn good. So you treat yourself once every six months. That's how I think about it. Because if you want to be different, you got to diet different. You got to train differently. And honestly, uh, you know, my ankle still hurts, but I still think, I do think that I can go and, and lift weights and do yoga and all that other kind of stuff. I think I can do it. Anyway. All right, guys. Oh, I thought I turned it over, sorry. All right, guys, that's all I got. So I will talk to you later, okay? See ya. Bye-bye.